Venice is well known for its beautiful scenery, lack of communal transportation, authentic Italian cuisine slash culture, and beautiful waterways led by a type of a boat named a gondola. With more tourists than the entire country of Brazil in 2019, despite being home to about 0.962% of the population, this lags the question, why is Venice so horribly placed, yet still such a major source of tourism income for Italy. Lack of communal transportation. Let's define this. Venice doesn't rely on cars for transportation. Instead, Venetians usually walk or use bikes, scooters, etc. It doesn't even use public transportation and it looks like a classical Beverly Hills if you take it the right way. The main reason for this being, Venice is rapidly sinking and is placed in an extremely bad spot off the coast of Northern Italy, leading into the Mediterranean. But other cities are placed along the coast. The real reason is because Venice was built hundreds of years ago and nobody knew how this problem would grow if the city was placed over an extremely muddy lagoon. Let's take a look into the history of Venice. Venice is nicknamed the Floating City because in 400 AD, after the Western Roman Empire's fall, it was built over a muddy lagoon. At this time, there was absolutely no problem with it. Climate change wasn't a thing and would become a problem for one and a half thousand years, along with rising sea levels. The worst part about it is that Venetians were forced out by barbarians and different groups trying to conquer the states of Italy and the recently formed San Marino after the Romans lost control to the Byzantines. Underneath is something named the Great Canal, which is, well, a canal of course. It's about 5 metres deep and connected to another canal which differentiates between 12 and 17 metres deep. Together they set apart on land Venice and the other Italian city of Giudecca. After an extremely harsh and roundabout history for 480 years, peace finally came to the region. Venice lasted as its very own city-state for over 1,000 years before finally succumbing to Austria-Hungary, who later on gave it to France, which helped out greatly during World War II, as now the Allies had a route to get into Axis power Italy. Now we'd reach the 20th century. Venice is no longer of any use as a city-state, nor of any use to France, now collapsed Austria-Hungary or Italy, and floods are ramping up as the ages of war diminish and Earth is now at war with water. Venice starts to get flooded more times yearly than you or me can count on our fingers and tourism is starting to rack up. People come to watch the mesmerising waterways, which represent how the city is sinking, and the beautiful 800-year-old buildings that show the city's past of reckoning. Now, let me bring up one important factoid that happened in some parts of history to prevent flooding, as this still was a problem in ways caused by things other than climate change and sea levels rising. Venice would actually add to the buildings new floors, but the culture was too precious by 400 years from now, so they ended up stopping. Of course, this wasn't a regulated government policy where they would walk around with some bricks and spackle and go, yes, it's time to build a new floor to replace the old one. But flooding isn't the only problem with Venice. Over-tourism is crazy. The year before COVID-19 hit hard, 2019, at all times, 24-7, 365 was there one tourist for every three actual Venetians who lived there and a total of approximately 5,500,000 total year-round tourists, all packed into a place with most land covered in water and including the water was about 400 kilometres. Over-tourism slash population is what causes the government of the city and the area it's the capital of, Veneto, to allow this flooding to happen so tourists can come to view the water. Now, let's skip to today, 2022 the 28th of June, which was the day this video was made. In 2019, there were over 80 floods that year, which is about a flood every four days. 
The 100 islands are starting to become more visible and some sources are adamant about the fall of Venice in about 12 to 30 years. Venice has a rapid increase in tourists for those who want a vacation after lockdowns and COVID and need to see the city before its fall. But Venetians, those who live there, immediately try to sell their properties and move to a better nearby city like 34 kilometre away Padua or 103 kilometre away Verona.